How'd they look to you? Well, you know, we talked early in the week, you know, about some adversity. You know, the first game, offensively, we really didn't have any adversity the entire game. And we knew, uh, watching the video, these guys can play, especially up front. Uh, you got to give that state a lot of credit. They're, they're going to have a lot of success this year in the Sun Belt. Uh, I think the last seven games, they've held uh, offenses to 254 yards per game, last seven games. So they got a confident defense. We knew that there was a chance there was going to be some adversity. We had to kind of fill it out. And, uh, and I was proud of the way the guys responded. You come out there and and first drive, it doesn't go exactly like you want to. This is a new team, some new offense on that sideline. How are they going to respond? And uh, I felt like the first group responded. And uh, so really pleased with the way the first group went. You know, a little disappointed in the second group. You know, we really coach all the time that there's not a, there should not be a let, let down in production when that second group goes out there. And uh, so that was probably the biggest negative today is when some of those uh, second team got out there, we weren't quite as smooth as we were with the first group. But I think the first group's done a pretty good job uh, through the first two games. you spend a week answering questions about how to replace Mike Williams? Did Sharon answer those questions today? Yeah, you know, I think it was good for Sharon to be able to go out there. Uh, it was not a surprise for our coaches because we've seen it through spring, fall camp. And uh, it was really just a matter of Sharon getting those opportunities. And, uh, and then capitalizing on him, and, and he did. He, he was, that was a great uh, first catch he made over there in the end zone, and uh, Deshaun put it exactly where it needed to be. And then, you know, that, that other one, Deshaun threw about 73 yards, it seemed like, in the air. And uh, sometimes those balls that are in there for a long time are more difficult to catch. And uh, but I was really happy for Sharon and, you know, him and, and Artavis Scott. And that's really something we've talked in the wide receiver room about. You know, we're not going to replace Mike Williams with one player. It's going to be overall production with everybody in that room. And you know, I saw that today. And uh, so I think that's something we can build on uh, as the competition gets more difficult. Jeff, it didn't look like Specifically, Sharon, what does he have to focus on at this point? Yeah, you know, I think the, the biggest thing for him is it's, it's different over there in the boundary. He's getting different looks. Uh, he's going to get more press coverage than he gets uh, being over there, over there to the field. So him and Deshaun uh, really getting on the same page as far as where uh, distance to break off the routes and when to convert routes, when to come back, and all those type of things. You know, that's something that, you know, this is the first week that they really spent all week together. And uh, so kind of filling that out and then same thing today. Um, but I, I think I think uh, Sharon set up to have a really good year. Jeff, for every not was not a big a factor, especially in the first half. This time, is it just a, a, a an issue of a freshman trying to figure things out? Yeah, and I, I think a lot of it has to do with how the games go and how they're playing yeah. you. Uh, they made a decision they were going to uh, get their defenders up there a little bit closer to the line and not give us the short throws, and uh, that's why we had you know three or four plays over 25 yards. You yeah. know, so it's either. You know, they're going to give you the, the short ones or you're going to have opportunities and you, they're going to challenge you to go make the deep plays. And so um, I, I wasn't disappointed in, in Ray Ray. I thought uh, he did some good things while he was in there. And uh, probably most pleased with him uh, in the return game. That was that was good to see. How do you feel about the running game? You know, I, I think we got to obviously got to do better. Got to figure out what our problems were. I think it was really just one thing or another up there. It wasn't something consistently on one player or one person. Uh, so there'll be a lot of stuff for us to, to teach off of. But scheme-wise, they were very similar to Oklahoma in that they were going to have seven guys around the box. And they, they were going to have their guys, you know, making you have to, to throw the ball. And, you know, in this kind of game, we, we wanted to force ourselves to run the ball. So there were some times where, you know, we ran the ball and typically we probably would just keep taking what they were giving us in the passing game. We really wanted to challenge the guys up front and challenge the back and give them some work. Uh, but. You know, we've done too, too good of a job in fall camp and in the first game. I, I, I have a good feel we'll get that corrected and we have a good plan as we come out first tonight. I know you're not watching the offensive line all the time, but did you get the feeling they were struggling at times with that front? Well, yeah, I mean, it's hard to see from the sideline because you have so many things going on, but we don't want any penetration in the backfield. Uh, you know, they got a really good player. I believe he's number 59. Uh, he was very destructive guy, got back in the backfield. And I don't think we got our hands on him like we wanted to. Uh, but, you know, we'll have time to get corrected and, uh, and, and it will get better. Going forward, you feel you have a lot of teaching to do this 